Oh, so Don, how's your kids lately? Oh, my kids are good. Thanks for asking, Ryan. Um, I'm actually seeing them for the first time this afternoon in a couple of years. Oh, that's very interesting. Where have they been? Um, they've been in boarding school. Boarding in school? Yeah. Slavia. Um, we ship them off there at the very ready and advanced age of three and four. My daughters, Lana and Moshasha. Mm -hmm. They must be very experienced. Yes, very. Um, they have actually learned a couple languages by now. Yes, the, um, the languages of Polonese, Funkian, and Butch. 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 I always wanted to learn how to speak it, but I just It's all about the tongue you learn the language. It's the Butch. The Butch. Get the, the Butch. Butch. The Butch. 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 Ah, I see. I see. I see. Yes. So, Lawrence, how have you been lately? Who cares about that? Look at that red dot over there. It's so intriguing. Mm, it and I don't know what it is, um, but it's just so amazing. Well, no, I think that means we are alive! Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am Don Flavinsky, as always. I am Lawrence Bumpernickel. I am Ryan Parsnip, and this is our, your daily news. So, as usual, I will be taking care of the daily weather. I have a stop story interviewing the president of the Bank of Schwammers. That's very interesting, because I actually have an interview with a minimalist hoarder. N that Min is minimalist hoarder. That's, crazy. That's gonna minimalist be so awesome. Hoarder. Minimalist hoarder. So stay tuned, guys. That is All amazing. Right, back to you about the top story. Well, my top story is actually quite interesting. While interviewing the president of the Bank of Schwammers, which was an intriguing interview for the short time it lasted, but something even more interesting happened. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Don Flavinsky over here at the Bank of Schwammers, interviewing the president of the Bank of Schwammers. Now, I have to ask, what is your bank really about towards its people? We are all about the people. Oh, Here at the Bank of Schwammers, the people want what the people get. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, what is your attitude towards um, unwanted, angry customers? Unwanted, angry customers? I mean, it's very rare that we ever find an unwanted. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, except for him! Oh, yeah. Wait, that, that can't be it. The robber comes in. That's what happens. There's got to be more. There has to be. Uh, no, no. All the exciting stuff's just happened, right? Then and there. I don't I have no idea what you're talking about. So is there look more of the film now? Ah, roll no, the footage! No, Bob, no. roll the footage, please. Yeah, fuck. No. Please, I have kids, I can still make money off of them. Please help me. The Minimalist Hoarder. It's a groundbreaking interview. After this, you'll all want to be a Minimalist Hoarder. Sounds exciting. Take a look. Welcome. We're here today with the Minimalist Hoarder. So, Minimalist Hoarder, what is your name? Dave. Dave. That is a good name. I don't know how it has to do with Minimalist Hoarding, but that is a good name. Oh, explain to us. What exactly is the definition of m minimalist hoarder? A uh, hoarder that hoards minimally. But the interesting thing is, like, I guess what you could say what that kind of means is minimalist hoarder hoards a lot of stuff, but only one type of that thing. Like, say you have one Russian nesting doll, you wouldn't have any others, just a bunch of other certain types of things. That is very interesting. Can you please share with us some of the things you might like to hoard? Well, I do happen to have a huge wall of food. Huge. It's ginormous. It's the main attraction, I guess you could call it, in my house. The whole entire wall is made of food? Well, it's not made of food. It's shelved with food, but oh, it's, my just, bad. it's shelved everywhere. Food. But it's it's pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. Anything else you heard, or is food just the main attraction? Oh, please. I heard a bunch of stuff. In fact, I heard it so much, I have a garage full of crap. Boxes everywhere. I'm actually pretty sure my car is somewhere in there. Not sure where. Boxes are everywhere, so. Wow. Everywhere. Everywhere. Boxes, they're just piled up. It's 
stuff in there. I haven't, I haven't been in there for like two years. Have you ever th thought about getting professional help in cleaning up? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever heard of a hoarder's house that's clean? No, because I believe they wouldn't be called a hoarder. Exactly my point. Z uh, I get your point. <clears throat> is there any interesting things that you would like to share with us? Well, actually, there is this one thing that I've been dying to tell, like, well, especially since I think you have a huge audience, I can't wait to tell them all. So it's about something that happened to me just a couple of uh, weeks ago. So here's what happened. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for an important announcement from the President of the United States of America. <sighs> Hello everyone, I'm here to inform you today that my beloved cat Fluffy has gone missing. A $10 million reward will be issued to whoever finds her. <sighs> By the way, we are using your tax dollars to send search parties to Alaska, Hawaii, Cuba, and Australia. So please find her. Please, please. So very much, please find her. We miss her so much, so dearly. Her mommy and dad are, daddy are going frantic trying to search. Try. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Wow, that was a great story. Yeah, now, let's go to Lawrence with the weather. Hi, I'm Lauren Pumpernickel, bringing you your daily weather. So as we can see on this map, um, the Florida area is going to have great weather, mainly because Mickey Mouse lives there. He makes it nice and warm and sunny for everybody. Mickey Mouse is the best. Over here in the California area, we're going to have sunny days as well, just like in Florida, San Francisco, San Diego. Great places. The Middle States. I don't know their names because I'm bad when it comes to safety. Me. Mild days, a little hot, but fine. Down in Texas over here, it's going to be fun, fine, just great. Wild West. Um, we're seeing a lot of green. Um, I think green means bad because, you know, green is always bad. Never trust green. So, anyway, like I was saying, well, there's a lot of green showing up on the West. East Coast. Hang on, I'm getting something. Oh, so the green is rain, wind, and hail, and stuff like that. But never mind that. Wait a minute. Rain, wind, hail. Nah, nothing. Anyway, we're tornadoes. They're all over the place. I don't like tornadoes. I don't think anybody likes tornadoes. Tornadoes are bad. They're not safe. They do damage. It ain't good. And they're everywhere now. They're going right up near the right East Coast. I don't like it at all. Everybody, I'm going to tell you one thing. See,